This is just a short video to give a couple of notes on what might help you puppeteer your eyes and program your eyes to look a little bit more human-like and pass as real rather than robotic if that's what you're shooting for. Uh, everybody has their own way of doing things and so take it for what it's worth. Uh, these are just some things that I've learned over the years. So really, one of the keys is that eyes rarely if ever move in a smooth left and right or up and down fashion it's much more like uh, a perfect case in point is if you look at Arnold Schwarzenegger's eyes in the Terminator he made a very conscious effort uh, while acting that role to make his eyes sweep left and right without stopping or very much so if you watch it closely you'll see it he's sweeping like a scanner and it does look like a perfect cyborg. It did a great job. If you want that look, that's how you do it. <laughs> okay? If you want to have it look like a real human, that's going to look very fake. And if you don't believe me, watch the Terminator. It'll show up right there. So, look at an example, just real quick. Quick video of my eyes. And see how the eye naturally locks onto separate objects as it moves. It's more of a move, stop, move, stop type of scenario. Now, if something's moving across the room, for example, uh, there's still a very slight stepper type of motion to the eye. It's very, very, very rare you'll see a nice slow movement. And something's coming out of a coma or something like that. So it's kind of counterintuitive, but in this case, it's one of those where jerky motion is actually more natural to the human form so yeah, just keep it in mind practicing this is really the key it's practicing for hours on your RC transmitter or tweaking your code if you're doing it that way uh, just watch carefully it's not just the motion of the eye but really important too is how the eyes blink and when they blink it's not always 100% too. It's not a slam shut blink every time. Sometimes we squint just a little bit or have a kind of a partial close uh, eye shut that uh, can be very fast and might look like a blink but is not a total blink. So many times you'll see a whole huge blink 100% when they're large motions uh, in the eye. So for example, if you see something out of the corner of your eye, many times you'll blink and your eye moves underneath your eyelid and opens up again when it's at that spot. And you kind of see if you can find that in the mirror. You'll see uh, watching yourself that might be true. So, you know, there's a lot of subtle nuances to make an eye pass for real. A uh, real human eye has more than just even the eye alone has more than seven small muscles and that's not even including the surrounding facial muscles that are key to achieving you know a totally real effect so what we're trying to do as animatronics people is fool ourselves and the audience uh, using these macro movements that we have and the degree <coughs> excuse me the degrees of freedom that we have uh, into a perception that every other little part, every other little muscle must be there. And do that with other techniques on how you place the mechanism in there and what kind of skin you use and whatnot. And really the key to all of this is practice, practice, and practice. Once you have a solid, stable mechanism that you can rely on, and you have a solid control system that you can rely on then the only thing that's gonna screw it up is you so that's where it is down to the practice part wish you luck